Hello, this is Bill Bryson with BWCACast.com. On this trip, we're going to head on up uh, into Ensign Lake, Vera Lake, on into Knife Lake, up through Otter Track, into Saginaw, and that's where we're going to end our trip. Uh, we're planning for about five days, and uh, we're uh, really looking forward to this. It's been a nice winter, but we're looking forward to getting out on the water. We've uh, teamed up again with Paragus Northwoods. Um, they're setting us up with a nice bell canoe to take on this trip. I've personally not paddled in a bell before. This will be my first time and uh, we're excited to try that out. It's really nice. We're using the lightweight uh, canoes that they offer you there at Paragus. So if you're looking for a, a nice uh, way to find a canoe for a trip, check them out. Um, they're a great company to work with. We've got four guys going on this trip and uh, we're just uh, really, it's going to be nice getting out into the fresh air and uh, the calm and solitude that you find in the Boundary Waters. But uh, we're going to get on the way here. Thanks for joining us, and uh, welcome to another episode of BWCACast.com. Did you see that uh, loon right there? Um, looked like he either had a crayfish or a, some kind of snail in his mouth. We're paddling right along here. We've just uh, left Moose and now we're on Newfound Lake. And uh, we'll be paddling across this for a little while. And uh, I think we'll dip into the edge of Sucker before we start uh, heading off towards Ensign, which will be on our right, um, heading east. Uh, still overcast out today, but you know what? It's really nice and cool. It's really a perfect temperature for paddling. Well, hey, we just uh, finished paddling across Newfound Lake there, and uh, we've got a nice 30 rod portage that's going to drop us into Splash Lake on our way into Ensign. Uh, still pretty nice out, uh, nice and cool for paddling, and uh, luckily we haven't been rained on yet, so we're going to load our gear on up here and head on through. <laughs> Hey, thanks. Thank you. 
We just uh, had to do that little five rod portage around Splash, or out of Splash into Ensign. And um, I know in the past, if the water was a little higher, especially going the other direction, you can kind of paddle on down through there and uh, you shouldn't hit any rocks. But it's a good idea always to hop out and check and maybe even a better idea to portage through those. But um, we're on Ensign now and we're gonna paddle on through here and uh, hop on the portage to Vera. Um, Got some nice loons moving around here and got Jesse back there taking some photos for jesseglass.com. Uh, you can check out some of his photos there. Jesse's uh, paddled through here quite a few times and uh, we were just talking a little bit ago how the fishing on Ensign is really, really good. Um, we, we kind of figure if you, uh, you might want to bring some other food along just to mix up your diet some, but you should be able to come in here and just uh, eat, eat fish every night for dinner. So if that's uh, what you're into, if you're looking for a nice uh, quick lake to come into and do some good fishing. Ensign's a nice place to go. There's really only that 30 rod portage and a five yard portage, five rod portage from uh, getting in from Moose Lake. And uh, so it's a nice quick way to get in here into the boundary waters and do some nice fishing. <laughs> Hey, uh, we just uh, got done paddling across Ensign here, and we ran into this nice crew. They're uh, working their way back south now. And uh, how long have you been out in the Boundary Waters on this trip? We've been out since the first since of June. So this is our fifth day out. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, where did you start? We Snow started Bank. Snowbank. Snowbank. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you went up into Knife, and now you're coming mm -hmm. back down through here. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Nice. And uh, you're not all from the same place, right? Right. <laughs> right. Where did you meet up? We met up on a January um, winter term course, and it was through the Audubon Center of the Northern Woods. And so we all decided that this summer we wanted to meet up, and we tried to get more people to come with us, but of course summer schedules didn't work out. Yeah. So we, we four were able to meet up and take this cool trip. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And how's the weather been? Uh, it was on gorgeous, and, and then you two just really missed good days. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday yeah. it was nasty. Yesterday it, it was raining all day. all day long. I think 13 hours straight. Yeah, yeah. if it not was, more. It was, it was pretty fun. 
<laughs> and did you stay dry enough during that time, or? Uh, no. <laughs> Once we got back yeah. in the tents, yeah, then we were dry, but right. otherwise, no. But yeah, some of our stuff still isn't dry. I mean, it was not a nice night either, so. Okay. Well, and what is this thing we have here? This is Dexter, and I think she can introduce Dexter um, a bit more. Yeah, squeak, squeak, he's squeak. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Dexter. We bought him the night before we left, and um, I really like chipmunks and squirrels, uh -huh. and we've seen quite a few live on the trip, and just kind of fun to have our little mascot uh -huh. and <laughs> raises our morale good. on the tough portages. All the portages. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 Good. Show, he, his fur's a little matted down, but that's okay. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Um, you think he'll be back out again? Most definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, it was pretty nice running into you guys. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.